This is not wing lady recommended. It is not a boss lady scent. It is not a baby girl scent. It is not a bad bee scent. It is not a seductive scent. It is not... You get it. You get the idea. What's up, you guys? This is your wing lady, and I'm back with another smashing video. Hi, guys. Today, I would love to start this video with an apology. If I have ever recommended Yara by Latafa for you as, oh, such a baby girl scent, such a must-have scent, or whatever, if I've ever recommended that to you, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. And I apologize. This is Yara by Latafa, the very popular, very hyped Yara. Okay? Okay. So, when I put this, because I've worn this for a while now, when you put this on your skin, I know skins are different, and sometimes... You can smell a perfume on someone's skin that will be so good but when you put it on your skin your chemistry just might not work with it and frankly that's fine that's fine it can smell great on someone else's skin and smell like trash on your skin it is part of perfume chemistry okay but for me now for wing lady because this is what you're here for to me yara is just a powdery mess Ugh. I am so sorry. <laughs> it is weak in projection. It is weak in longevity or longevity. It is weak in the smell itself. Everything is just watered down. And I wonder why it is hyped so freaking much if this is what you get. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, the opening of Yara is something a little bit sweet. Of course, it's a lady's perfume. They add some fruit at the top. I think tangerine to make it a little bit sweet. Then they added some powdery notes to blend it all together to make it feminine. You know, when you add um, powdery notes to a perfume, you blend it to make it, you know, feminine, to make it a woman's scent, not a masculine scent. So they added a lot of powderiness in there i'm not sure of the notes when i try to check the notes i just found gourmand notes so i guess that is what you smell after that initial fruitiness then at the base you have vanilla musk and sandalwood i don't catch any musk but i get a little bit of the sandalwood and the vanilla the vanilla is not to pro pronounce it's just a little bit sweet you get that flavor that smell then of course the sandalwood brings it all together creams everything together <sighs> I do not understand why this perfume is so hyped in the way it is hyped. And why people that I think, you know, know a lot about perfumes think, oh, this is the have all and be all of the perfume world. Yara is just like any other uh, floral fruity perfume you have. It's just like any other feminine floral fruity. I guess say it is even weaker than the normal typical floral fruity perfumes because uh, it has no strength. It has no depth it has nothing dense in there it has no structure how do i explain this you know when you perceive a perfume and you smell everything that makes it up you can tell if it is watery or if it is you know really dense really good this doesn't have all that creaminess all that denseness all that body it's just light and watery and powdery it's just a mess it doesn't even last long on me it barely does five hours is too much oh three to four hours on my skin that is what it does on my skin that is what it does on my skin it doesn't last so long also the projection is not there because if you're in a room and you drown yourself in yara <laughs> maybe by the time you bathe yourself in it people are gonna smell you but if you spray this as a normal perfume nobody is smelling you hardly would they smell you for me to get a reaction out of people around me i have to over spray I have to spray like 10 sprays literally on my clothes or my skin or my body just so I get a reaction out of people around me, like my family, my sister. And I'll be like, do you smell anything? It's like, eh, I barely catch anything. 
I don't smell anything. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh. This is not wing lady recommended. It is not a boss lady scent. It is not a baby girl scent. It is not a bad bee scent. It is not a seductive scent. It is not... You get it. You get the idea. This is just a scent that you, you buy for layering. Like, okay, you want something sweet to top off your layering combination. So you just take this and you spray it all over, you know, to top everything up because it's sort of creamy with the sandalwood in there. You top off your layering combination. I don't think it's a perfume that you can wear on its own and be feeling like... But perfume is a very personal thing and perfumes are subjective. The fact that it does not smell good on me and it does not project and it does not last does not mean it could not smell good on you. It might actually smell so great on you. That is why I say you should wear whatever you want. Whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, whether you're old, whether you're young. If you're interested in a perfume, uh, the best way to know how it smells is to buy it yourself and smell it. But for wing lady, for wing lady, this is not wing lady recommended because it's not giving anything. I am so sorry. It's just a powdery, little bit florally, little bit fruity perfume. I mean, I cannot find the essence. I cannot find something to hold on to and be like, oh, this is such a great perfume. I do not get it. I just, I do not get it. Sometimes they hype things up so much. You're like, oh, if I don't have that, oh, maybe I'm going to die if I don't have the perfume. At the end of the day, when you end up putting your own nose to the perfume, you're like, what is this? What is the hype all about? What were you even thinking? So I'm so sorry if I've recommended this to you. I, I, I only recommend it. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. This is not something you absolutely need in your collection. You know, how I rave about perfumes that I like, it is not, I do not hide it on this channel. You all know this. And if I don't like something, it is so easy to know that I don't like this. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this mess. And I do not like this. Oh, personally, I do not. You know, I love lot of perfumes and I have a lot of them. And I rave about them. The ones that do it for me. This isn't doing it for me. This is giving nothing. It's just giving boring, watery, nothing. And I was so impressed with the packaging. You know, sometimes when you wear perfume the first time, you'll be like, hmm, it has potential. Okay, I like it, mm, I think. But then when you give it time and you actually wear it, you know, there's a difference between first impressions when you smell something first, you're like, hmm. And then when you put it on you and you wear it day in, day out with skin, with clothes, and you experiment with it. After I have done all that, I've come to the conclusion that Yara is not for me. <laughs> It is not for me. However, if you like something, you know, that you can wear anywhere, casual outing, to bed, to see your friend, just a perfume that, you know, you, you don't want to be smelling like your natural B.O. <laughs> so you just need something to like put on you so that you don't smell like, you know, raggedy. So you just put this on and you'll be fine. The, I mean, ugh, maybe I'm going to be wearing it to bed. It's giving nothing. It's giving nothing. Maybe I got a bad batch or whatever, but it's giving nothing and I do not recommend. Sorry, the video has come to the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just not for me. Just not for me. I do not rave about it. I do not recommend. Not for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching up until this level. I love you so much. I really do. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel for more. Okay? This may be a perfume I don't like, but there are others that I do like and I rave about them. So watch more and you're going to find something that you like. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Love you. Ciao.